to another episode of the Six Frame Podcast. Woo! Six Frames in the house. We finally defeated Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> and got back our friends. <laughs> That's right. Everyone is back. Except for Miles, we lost him. He had to get the soul stone. <laughs> <laughs> Sacrifice. Oh, no. Who pushed him? Who pushed him? That's the question. Who, who was fighting with? <laughs> Who's fighting with him to get the? <laughs> I volunteered not to. Was... <laughs> yeah, to check him. Yeah. Hey, look, there's something over there. <laughs> <laughs> he threw a bottle of bourbon at you. Uh, this is episode 19. Yes, we just we're, confirmed. We're almost. <laughs> we're almost episode 20, and. Uh, Today we're just gonna talk about Godzilla and Game of Thrones. Yeah, two two big topics that definitely need their own segments <laughs> and it's in their own respective spots. But let's go around. Let's introduce. We got a full house today. Starting off, uh, Jamal. Welcome back. Clea. Clea. Alex. Welcome back. Satan. Welcome back. Lamp. Welcome back. back. Welcome back. <laughs> Kevin. Jacob. Welcome back. Hernando. Alexis. Oh, wow. You're here. Wow. Actually came wow. Thank you. Actually showed up. All right. All right. Well, let's just jump right into it. Um, which one do you guys want to do? For? You want to do Game of Game Thrones of first? Thrones. All right. So let's do Game of Thrones first. Excuse the bottle cap dropping. Wow. Uh, what? <laughs> I don't know. Who wanna, you want to leave this one, Alexis? Sure. I think you you're more knowledgeable. Yeah. Okay. Um, are we talking about the last episode? Are we talking about the whole season? <clears throat> well, at uh, least well, the whole season. Let's do the whole season. The whole season. Whole yeah, season. yeah, as a whole. The okay. Whole season, so, what did you guys think overall of how season eight went? Got <laughs> <laughs> it. It was just very unsatisfying. Unsatisfying. Why? Like okay, well, Arya. Killing the um the the Ice King. I keep saying Night, Ice, Night, Night, Night King. 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 Saying Adventure Time. <laughs> Night King. Okay. I don't know why. I, what led to? I don't think anything led to her being the one to kill the ice. It's always been like John and the Ice. Right. Ice King. Night King. Night King. King. Mm-hmm. It's always been John and Night King. John mm-hmm. has done everything he could to like you know go attack the Night King, and then Arya comes like ah. Yeah. And that's it. Mm-hmm. I have a lot of feelings about that because I feel like. Arya would have been the only one capable of killing him. Like, in reality, if you think about it, and you step into that, like, scene, there is a bunch of walkers all around them. All the white walkers were around the Night King going up to Bran. Like, who is stealthy enough to just come up and kill him, right? Arya. However, it felt too easy. Yes! So I would have liked to see John fight him, and I would have liked there to be some sort of struggle at the end. I think that's what I wanted. Yeah, I wanted a struggle because I felt like Arya just jumped out of nowhere. It was cool. Don't get me wrong; she dropped no, a knife and stabbed him. It was awesome, but it was like ah, it it was too easy, right? Well, yeah. Because they've been building this guy up. They've been building a whole army up for since the beginning, since the very beginning. and then it's all done in one episode. Great episode, by the way. I oh, thought it was a great okay. episode. If you look at the behind the scenes, like the work that went into that episode is incredible. Mm-hmm. So, like, mad props to the mm-hmm. whole crew and the cast of Game of Thrones. Um, but <laughs> it felt like it was rushed. It was, rushed. and Arya was an easy choice because she is an assassin. The thing, like, you guys said, that it felt rushed. I don't think it was. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't think it felt rushed because, if anything, like a battle against the dead. It definitely should be like one sided. Like it should be um like the dead should like easily overtake everyone and just everyone just falls. So it shouldn't take like, you know, like days, like an actual war or anything. Because there's yeah. no planning, there's no tactics. Yeah. It's literally just fight to the death. Yeah, you're fighting zombies. So right. so to me it didn't feel that it was rushed, like that episode per se. It's just it's just like the, the ending. For me, like okay. how everything ended, because like if the night, like Night King is connected to everyone, mm-hmm. take yeah. care of him, take care of everything. Yep. Yeah. So that was their only goal, and you're waiting for the it. Dragon Ball Z to be continued, no, and then I would, continue no. to the fight. No, 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 no. I, I actually, I honestly don't need that. We don't, we didn't really need that. Um, 
it it should have been like a a clean slate. So wash it off. Yeah, like you know what would have been good. You know how like the Dolph Rocky dropped in a hot minute Bro. at the beginning. <laughs> Everybody should have dropped in a hot minute. <laughs> and then at the end, body. when like almost everyone's dead, you know, somebody like John goes and you know has like this super cool long battle with the Night King. Yeah, I would have liked to see that. You know, you're expecting like a, a sword duel. fight. So. Yeah, a duel, right. like a, a noble. Been, Final battle for John because I don't think he even got one this season. No, no, no. he did not. He didn't even get. He didn't. It's, it's felt like the it it's, it's about, like the whole fight. There's no end redemption. Yeah, yeah there's no end redemption. He didn't do nothing. He didn't do nothing. No. Oh, come yeah, on. Just like angry. I, I just. I, <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead. Yeah, I was a little upset with where. I can't say I was upset when I watched the finale. I wasn't upset. Because, like I was talking, uh, what I was telling Jamal was, for what they set the season up to be, the finale was fine. But, they should have changed a lot of things in that season so the finale wasn't the way it was. If that makes sense. Yes. Mm. Because for what they set it up for, it works. But, there is a <laughs> lot of things I had an issue with. I think Jon Snow should have killed the Night King. Yeah. Jon Snow would have ki- killed the Night King. It would have left Arya open to kill Daenerys. If she would have killed Daenerys... For those who are listening, Lamp has his arms. Then <laughs> that would have given access for Jon to become king. It, But at the same time, he never wanted it. So, But at the same time, again, he's always gotten titles that he never wanted. <laughs> yeah, it would have been an end for him. So, you know, um, there's a lot of people complaining that, you know, what was the point of his whole storyline of yeah, him being a Targaryen? him just getting sent back to the wall. Well, he sent gets back sent the... back with no, with like nothing, so like the Targaryen, and like the Targaryen like line literally ends there. Ends there, exactly. Like so, there. so, you so know. So John is like the kid who gets the good, the good guy award he, for not doing anything. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. He is there for that. Um, my biggest thing, the, the thing that I think upset me the most this season was Jamie's arc. I was so upset. Listen, okay. Woo! Okay. When this to, man... One, oh, man. <laughs> is that Jamie had such amazing character development. This mm-hmm. whole the series. Mm-hmm. You know, you hated him in the beginning. And then he just became better and better and better. At the end, you're like, man, this guy is, is going to go kill Cersei. You know, he's the one that has to do it. He's the one that has to end it. Yeah. Sleeps with Brienne, which makes <coughs> no sense. Actually, <laughs> nah, that was straight up fan. That service. was fan service. That's why I like it. Fan service. That's why I like it. That's what I want. Everybody with their romance. You have never slept OC. with a man. Ooh, Walks whoa. away, Jamie. Hey, I'm getting. <laughs> Wanna get on? Right. What? He just kept pursuing her. I know you like my ding dong. There was never <laughs> any <laughs> indication of Jamie being into Brienne. I'm sorry, Brienne. Yes, it, it, it read like a you novel. can tell Brienne liked Jamie. And, yeah. you know she wanted to do him a little bit, but it was never. Um, it was never reciprocated on his side. He, I think, respected Brienne for what she was, but I, he was always in love with Cersei. Except we that's, got, that's we got game, yeah. Brienne um, was smicking for this love with Jamie. And they both <laughs> touch and look at each other's eyes. No. And one of them says, you touched my So color. that happened. Whatever. <laughs> I tried to get over it, right? This man leaves and he's like, you know, he just shoots down Brienne. I'm like, oh, it's cool. You know why? Because he's trying to get her not to follow him because he's going to go kill Cersei. So I'm trying to like make <laughs> make this <laughs> just, you know? And then he gets there and he's like, Oh, Cersei, I missed you. I love I'm like, are you are you he are you serious right now? Mm-hmm. This man did not come back to kill his sister. So we're just throwing his redemption arc out the window. Yeah. Right? Yeah. There's the window. Oh. <laughs> and then what made it even worse is that the most evil character in this entire series. Can we get on that? Cersei Lannister. Get him. Dies in the arms of the love of her life under a pile of bricks. Makes it a happy death ending. Bullshit. If she would have died alone under a pile of bricks, that would have been okay. You know, I would have wished something a little bit worse, but she would have been alone. She would have been scared, and she would have been, like, looking around at 
everything she built getting destroyed. She would have felt discomfort. Yes. Making her making her feel obsolete. Yes. If anything. So that would have been okay. You guys want yeah. death. But the fact that Jamie Everybody else went, got one. Why not her? Exactly. <laughs> The fact that why she did, died why in the she arms. she to be comforted with her uh, exactly. brother slash lover? Mm-hmm. Not forget. Because they're paying with <laughs> <your> expectation. <laughs> it's extra money. Incest is Wincest. Incest is Wincest. Incest is Wincest. Get out of here. Jesus. <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> Targaryens can get behind that. Yeah. The Targaryens can definitely get behind that. They definitely did. They definitely did. <laughs> More I ways than one, did. right? <laughs> and Sixers podcast does not uh, support uh, incest, so please don't do either sister or your brother. Please do not. Please. So, um, it's pretty weird. I think, if I you think... want, don't tell anybody. Don't listen to it, please. Guy, guy, this is stop. We're not talking to you guys. Oh. It's civil. All right, go ahead. Sorry. So, um, I, I think that's what really, uh, after that happened, I was, I was just upset. And I see... Like, people explain it to me, you know, Jamie's always loved Cersei, and it's hard for him. She's like an addiction for him, so, like, he had to go back, and he had to be there and comfort her. But I'm like, that is so just unsatisfying for the people watching. Like, you're rooting for this guy. You want him to live, do the to, right live thing. to do the right thing, because that's where his character's been heading. He dropped Cersei last season. He left. He went to go fight the war, the, like the final war. Yeah, he's, he's like stood. this bitch crazy. She doesn't want to help out. I'm leaving. I'm out. If she tries something, I'm gonna come back and kill her. That's what I, the impression I got. She sent Bronn to go kill him, and Tyrion. Yeah, he's like, you know what? She my boo. She my boo. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, it was it was very frustrating to uh, watch, especially his arc and. Um, brands and brands oh like his man. and no the Daenerys I was okay, I was I was okay, okay with Daenerys the like that that didn't that bother me as much let me tell you what bothered me about the other ones what's that she should have killed Cersei if anything like yeah if anyone were to kill Cersei I felt it should have been Daenerys so that she could at least get her satisfaction before her own right before her demise, yeah it's a good way to become like the evil queen like by killing the evil queen like she was, yeah, like she right. literally she eyed the, the castle. She eyed it, knowing Cersei's bitch ass was there. And we'll All she had to do it. was <laughs> fly to like right Cersei. Yep. But no, she wanted to take a detour and like you know, sort of little Kill orphans else. right there. You want to burn some people right there? <laughs> just did the whole thing. We're bread makers. We're good people. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> <But> the kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's my whole problem. Though. There's no warrant for that. There was no. Reason. There was no reason. Literally, yeah. shoulders like. How the fuck do we end this show? That's the word that Star Wars. Now, kill people. The end. Well, well, I mean, it was it was headed that way because like yeah. if you look at like her history and all the things that were just kind of building and building, and she's a very like emotional person. She's not logical to the sense of like that's why she had Tyrion. He was supposed to be the logic. Like you should do this or you should, you know, make friends with these people. And she'd be like, uh, all right, I'll listen to you because you're my advisor. I'll do what you say. If it's going to help, you know, amass the army and the people that I need. But throughout the season, you saw, like, she was losing clothes, her friends were dying, and then her best friend died. Yeah, I think that's what pushed it over And so, like, watching her get decapitated on the top of the wall up there, right by the uh, the main entrance of the gate, she was like... And you heard what she said. She's like, what she, when she was speaking the Dothraki tongue, she was like, burn them all. But another thing, too, was that in the finale, she had... Remember that... Uh, the Unsullied said that her orders were to kill anybody who follows Cersei Lannister. So I think she was already in that mindset. I, I didn't find it to be surprising that no. she burned the city down. No. Could she but, have not done it and like kept her cool and just gone to the Red Keep? And yeah, of course. Cersei? Yeah, yeah that, that would have been cool. It. And yeah. that would have been fine. But think about like everything she had gone through up until that point, especially right before. Like, And, and she's never been a level-headed person. Nope. Never, and she's only gotten nope. like more dumb word, stupid. Yeah, yeah. And and Tyrion, uh, Tyrion got stupid this season. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was that was that was gonna be another character I was gonna complain about. Like, he got Tyrion, lazy. Yeah, he just stopped thinking. Yeah, she's our queen, and we like what? Come on, bro. You've never been that person. Well, you'll no. just blind faith, like you know, loyalty to the he, end. He got, that's he, never been Tyrion. He got drunk. That's what nah. happened. He got drunk. 
Yeah. He's always been drunk. He's yeah, but this time drunk. he got him. They, the, the drunk got him. Yeah, the writing got drunk. That's what they were. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, ooh, we're doing Star Wars, guys. Yeah. yeah high five. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got to finish something. Disney <laughs> <laughs> exactly. movie better than HBO money. <laughs> oh, for sure, for sure. So, yeah, now, nah, yeah, him, him kind of losing his, like, grip and just going all in with with uh, Daenerys was, like, definitely out of character for him. I was like, come on. Like, you work with Varys. Like, he always yeah. gives you the deets. So, like, now you're just going to totally disregard yeah. it. Be like, nah, she's our queen. She's the one. we yeah. got to have faith in her. Like, what? Come on, bro. That's not you. You, you haven't done that in any of the other seasons. Nope. Now you're going to just follow her to the end? Nah, get out of here. And then it took her killing the people for him to wake up. You knew it was going to happen. It was bound to happen. Just despite how much you uh, thought she wasn't going to do it. But, man, she did it. So now... Like Barry said, right before he was going to die, he was like, I told you so. Mm-hmm. You're going to come to that moment where you realize that I told you so. And yeah, he saw it right then and there. He's like, oh, oh bitch. Oh, fuck me. Barry's looking down everybody. from heaven. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> told you. Told you may want to listen. Oh, there you go. Now he's stuck with her. Yep. But yeah, yeah, his and uh, who, who was another one that I didn't, I wasn't too key happy with their ending. Brand taking the throne. Oh. Brand, let me get on this. <laughs> well, like, <laughs> I got a lot of stuff on this Brand taking the throne. That was Brand taking the throne. Yo, what do you want to say, man? I'll, I'll, I'll wait. <laughs> what would you want to say, Elf? All right. Okay. The king of the trail. <sighs> <laughs> Brand the so, broken. So, <laughs> there was this theory that was so good. Yeah, I read it. It hurt my brain. And when <laughs> Bran took the throne, I was like, oh, man, it's coming together. It's coming to life. So the theory was that Bran mm-hmm. um, is not Bran anymore, which is kind of implied. Yeah. And that uh, Blood Raven, who was the previous three-eyed crow, three-eyed raven, mm-hmm. took over Bran's body. Yeah. And that he's kind of evil, and he wants to control the Seven Kingdoms. And he's actually a Targaryen, uh, yeah. Blood Raven. That would have been dope. What? That did not happen. Wait, what? Did it? Huh? It did it? No. No, oh, man. Did you see it happen? You know what happened? You were telling a good story that you was like what that happened <laughs> what? I'm like no I wish it should have happened it, it should have happened it would have been cool if it went that right because he kept saying I'm not bad anymore I'm like what what's wrong with him <laughs> no. I have to go now uh, <laughs> Bro, where <laughs> are you in the chair where are you going <laughs> you go? and he like zoned out and his eyes went white like we never knew what happened then he won't watch it like they never explained why he did that little eye thing I have to go Made there. no sense. He was watching the like, movie. No, I mean, he, he went to the crow and he was watching the battle, and oh, then that was it. That was the movie. He so, watched the battle. Like, what, uh, okay, well. He was Great. watching Endgame. <laughs> he was watching Endgame. He flew into the future. He was like, oh, that's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, but, like, yeah, nothing became of it. Like, him being the three eyed crow was like. Yeah, what well, was the point? But I was a wizard! Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead, Alex. I think about it. Going back on the Nightmare Club, he didn't fight at all except for one dude at the very end. Yeah, uh, Theon. Theon. Joy. Joy. Yeah. What about Theon? That's, well, the, only like, that's the only person that fought. Oh, the, the Night King, I know. He didn't really get fought. He, 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 he just got, just, he just, got pierced. He got bombed. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Straight up slapped his ass. You gotta have your stick back. You gotta have your stick back. Weak. Like, what did you think was that? I just, I guess I didn't like that moment that they slowed it down. It's like he looks at he um he looks at Brian. He's like, "You were great." And he's like, "Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna charge over." And he just slow motion is like, yeah. Uh, yeah, you knew he was gonna die. You like hurry it up, fast forward. Yeah, could have just stayed by his side and survived. I know he was like, you know I what? I think just, I'll stay right yeah, here. If he literally would have <laughs> just, just right stayed there and just blocked Bran, he would have lived because then Arya would have popped out of nowhere. Yep, he could have been a coward. You could have saved the day being a coward. Yep. And yeah. that happens when you're a yeah. hero. <laughs> you <laughs> die. <laughs> Lesson learned. Thank you. I, I think Never change your ways. Agree, though, that, that, that battle should have been a two episodes. The which one? Um, the, the, the battle should have been two episodes. The, oh, like when the, when the uh, that walkers. was so disappointing. When the white showed up. I don't know if it should have been two episodes or if they should have just done it differently. Well, they shouldn't have spent the first two episodes of season eight of them hanging out and talking. That's true. Like, to me, mean? that was a waste. That no, wasn't that much of a waste. And Junior, like, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, as much as you think it's a waste, those two episodes were my most enjoyed episodes. Mine um, too. It's, like, honestly, those like, felt so it's enjoyable dependent. because, like, it's like, you know, you're getting everyone's back together. You're having all this They could have done one episode. But some of the reunions were nice, but I felt like some of it was, like, 
the magic carpet ride on the dragons. That was. So oh, that was. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you. <laughs> I didn't know like that part in the first episode. I was like, man. Which time Game of Thrones into a Disney movie? I, I watched I, that. I was like. Uh-huh. Yeah, they were riding the bikes again. Bad, bad yeah, ride. Yeah, the reunions were good. Like all the reunions were nice and stuff, but that part. That was that was the riders. They were letting Disney know. We I know. Right? We on the way. We're loyal to you. We're loyal to New Mexico. There's a little, there's a little Aladdin hit. There, Thank you. We're loyal to you. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. The carpet ride like that reference. Right? Good. The whole bond between John and Daenerys were some of the most boring shit I've ever watched. Yeah, because I, like, I did not care at all about their relationship other than when no, who's no, gonna no. kill who. Yeah, <laughs> I cared about everyone else's relationship because that was actually fun and interesting. It really was. Yeah, that's true. I can agree with him with that one. Yeah, yeah, I guess, and I guess because they kind of knew where it was going, so you could feel that awkward tension between them. Because even when they're the actors and they know how it's gonna end, they're kind of like, eh, well, let's just get through this. Because I know yeah, you're going to die. Bitch. <laughs> right. <laughs> but yeah, it is what it is. Um, I, think, I think the best um, the best character development from the season, or the whole series, now that it ended, oh, okay. was Sansa. Yes. yes. Well, yeah. Hold on. Sansa. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, yeah, it was yeah. good, but I don't think it was the best. I think it was, I thought it was the best. Great joy. Because everybody else... <laughs> Yeah, he's dead. No, no I mean he had a good like, he had a good character development, like yeah. from being like you know the close brother to being like oh I guess the king now, right? right. Yeah. Backstabber yeah. to the redemption to yeah. becoming the brave warrior, yeah. and then protecting yeah. brands he and went stuff. Puberty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All over again. Yeah, but I thought Sansa he, he was definitely being the a coward. best because uh, Sansa be. Like, Sansa started off as like one of the most annoying characters. You know, you want to elbow her like the, like, the first the few time. episodes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was. She but was then this girl went through. Being with the two worst characters on the show, yeah, like surviving. She was with Joffrey. She was with Littlefinger. She learned she a lot from Littlefinger. Finger. Now she's the smartest person on the show. Yeah. She is manipulating everybody, and she becomes queen in the north. And the north is her own kingdom. And she That's a snitch. Badass. That's right. She's a snitch. <laughs> yes. She's the only one that but, it played in her favor. But it played in her favor, and she learned it from Littlefinger. Yep. And everything else she had gone through. And if she hadn't gone through all that, she wouldn't have become the Sansa at the end. And I think that was the best kind of character development throughout. But that's like uh, like a neutral type of like her arc. And you say, oh, okay. Because it's kind of obvious she's going to be like queen of something. No, but not only that she became yeah. queen, that she became so smart and so manipulative. Yeah. And uh, very powerful, you know. She, she's badass. Yeah. But not in the way Arya's badass, but in a different way. No, she she's badass because you know? she she's like the only one who like seizes up um what's her name? Daenerys. Oh, like, like every, she was, yes. Yes. Like every opportunity is like when I see them in the screen like, oh she wanted to do something slick. She wants to do yeah. something slick like that's ah, yes. yeah, my girl. Yeah, so when they were problem. like when she was like holding, holding her hand, right? She was like, Hey, you should just pledge your allegiance and like, okay, but what about the North? I forgot, I forgot what she said and she was like, <laughs> like oh, oh, oh. <laughs> She told her uncle to sit down. Uncle, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> sit your ass down, boy. <laughs> and I'll sit down. Sure. And he's like, oh. <laughs> "Did you? Do you watch Game of Thrones, Queen?" Pieces of it, but I know, I know more than enough. You know, I, I know a lot. She watched the recap, the eight-hour recap. <laughs> 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 yeah, you got all the information. Catch up. Yeah. That's yeah, all you need. Those YouTube catch-up videos. I think Sansa would have been the perfect queen, like the one to take. Um, she went through a lot, like, and she again, like everybody says, she went through uh, was a bride to Ramses and sent to the dogs. <laughs> that ass. Yeah. Exactly. That one line where she was like, where oh, she was talking to the hound, uh-huh. and she was like, and he was like, oh, I went through a lot of things, so I'm a tough little bird or whatever. Yeah, He's yeah. like, I married Ramsey and I got rid of him. How you got rid of him? Hound. They were just both smiling. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, the hound! That was another good character. He is, yes. Yeah, yeah. His story, I like how his story ended it. perfect. That's oh, that was perfect. Yeah, yeah. That I actually, that was the best part of the season. That yep. fight, his battle with yeah. his brother, brother. That was badass. Mm-hmm. Yep, that was a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was really cool. Yeah. Can we give one to our boy Bormon? He considered like a champ when Brienne rejected him. Oh my <laughs> god, that's a true ladies' man. <laughs> right. And he just sitting there like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Little blonde boy came in. He came in here and just. He took my big woman. No, I took my big woman. He'd snap him like a toothpick if he found out what happened. 
Yeah. 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 But the good thing is he still got that giant's milk. Uh, What? (laughs) Now the good thing is he got his bromance with John back, so now they can ride off into the woods together. Yeah, that's right. And tell that's a, stories. That's a real good ending. <laughs> that's yeah. it. Yeah. John, cool. John had a good redemption part with, with his only com- loyal companion. <laughs> yeah, that's it. After mm-hmm. leaving him, like, what? Oh, the oh, it's my ghost. Yeah, ghost. Like, like, what? Yeah. His wolf. Yeah. He's terrible. Yeah. And then he's his like, poor little Ian. And then at the end, like, right. I'm back. Fuck you, bro. Didn't you, know <laughs> <what? laughs> you, you leave me? <laughs> now you, oh, because they punish you. That's why you back. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> How's Rago? <laughs> right. You see this ear that's missing? Yeah, where well, your little dragon at now? He ain't flying on his ass no more. Are you? What's your girlfriend? <laughs> oh, too soon. <laughs> that was my aunt. <laughs> oh, that's even gross. That's even gross. <laughs> Don't get down like that in the north. <laughs> Crunchy about incest. <laughs> well, I imagine, I just imagine the ghost is shaming him all the time. Yeah, the ghost is looking at him in disgust. Uh, they made you come back. <laughs> you didn't Don't choose me. You. <laughs> right? You didn't want to come here. They made you. What are you going to add, Jacob? Oh, yeah. Since I've been quiet most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> you want to sleep? Yeah, multiple, yeah, multiple times the thoughts. You can, I well, set you up for Mickey Mouse. It's, okay, so pretty much me getting late into Game of Thrones mm-hmm. and being able to binge watch everything. Yeah. In the beginning, it was a work of art. Then it turned into a piece of Squidward dark juice. <laughs> <laughs> you mean bold and brass. <laughs> and brass. Brash. 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 Let me let me tell you something. In the beginning two episodes of season eight, I enjoy it. It set up things. Mm-hmm. Things were gonna start up. Yeah, yeah, uh, 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 yeah Avenger you moment. Bro, yeah. I got hype. Then the battle against the Night King, you know, I enjoyed it. I was like, okay, might be a little bit too dark. Put some light in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was pretty but dark. It was still good. I was watching it on my little monitor, it was like, What's <laughs> happening? <laughs> <laughs> what happened here? <laughs> but, God bless all the people who Put up the contrast. <laughs> <laughs> but what threw me off mm-hmm. immensely was when Daenerys, Whoa. when Daenerys started to <laughs> throw Dragon Knight into the field to burn away all the people in the <laughs> in King's Landing. Uh-huh. I did not enjoy that. Oh, when she was just going on her murder spree. Yeah, I did not enjoy that. I know she had a reason for that, but. It didn't really do much for me. And then when I saw Cersei just tiptoeing past, <laughs> 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 excuse me, let me get fuck out. Wait. Continue. <laughs> That's the hound and um, the the mountain. Uh-huh. I was cracking up. And then when I, when I saw the mountain push away Cersei's right hand, man. Oh, I was, I was she yeeted that boy <laughs> into the wall. <laughs> 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 Oh, he's just laughing. He's more than he bro. <laughs> yeah, he straight smashed his head and threw him across the That door. was so funny. That was satisfying. That was, that was satisfying. <laughs> that that was was satisfying. Like, finally, shut him up. Crushed him like a fucking Drake swamp. Wow. Shut his ass up. Oh, that, that was so funny. Yeah, it was funny, but what I didn't really appreciate was the fact that when Jamie came in with Cersei at the end, mm-hmm. and then they got squashed under a bunch of gravelers, I was like, bruh. <laughs> It made no type of sense. No type of sense whatsoever. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess with that, they were, the symbolism behind it was like, she believed her kingdom was going to hold up and she was behind it 120%. Yeah. Her men were going to fight for her to the death and no one's ever broken into her fortress and blah, blah, blah. And everyone knows in the Seven Realms that, you know, King's Landing is the place to be. The bees knees. It's the they all and then it just all came down. crumbling down on her, so... I guess but they were it would have been trying. good if Jamie was but, not there. I mean, he could have been there after the Rock Throne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But like the fact that he was there with her, with her and comforting her. Yeah, and Tyrion had to go and see that. And then he gets stabbed like two times in the stomach yes. by, yeah. by yes. the other Greyjoy, the uncle. Yes. I mean, he should have like at least dragged himself to see Right, he could have been like, uh, uh, but like no. yeah. My boy was in full stride, boy. I'm coming. <laughs> you know what's funny about that scene? The whole time I saw it, it's like the walls were crumbling. Like, uh-huh. Oh, man, what are you going to do? 
because I was expecting he's gonna kill her. Yeah. Uh, and I was expecting like, oh, they're gonna collapse and stuff. Push her. He's like, yes, do it. And now you're like, in the crash. Crash. Like, ah. Oh. Everything I did not want. For I, game. Know, I know, right? No, <laughs> That's not what I want. It is what it is. Satan, you didn't watch. No. Game of Thrones. No. So cool. she is I, didn't, I didn't really watch it. But I did see some clips and uh, a lot of comments about how they hate it uh, the, the last, last season. Yeah. I hated very strong words. It, well, yeah, it's it it hard. Well, I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. It was hate disappointing. It, it, it was pretty like, badly. Lackluster. I didn't hate it. It's very lackluster. Yeah. Very lackluster. It's not hate, but you're allowed to be disappointed. Yeah, no, of course. And you I, have that's what, time for their opinion. That's what like a lot of the the comments on like how people think about it. Uh-huh. That is saying, oh, you can't, you can't hate on this. You, you're supposed uh, to love okay. it. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I can. I spent my whole entire life watching this show. <laughs> I love Star Wars, yeah. but them motherfucking movies that have been coming out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and they're not excuse. Like, yeah, like no excuse. Me, they gave me eight, eight seasons. Yeah, like get out of here. I don't have to love it. I know that you have to wait two years for the last season. Yeah, exactly. You made so us wait this long just for it to be eh, a mediocre ending. Come on. All right. Yeah. I, let me complain. Yeah. I complain. I, the dragons were great. They were amazing. Because they put that. Oh, man. They were, oh, they were well, beautiful. The, everything was budget. looked amazing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, everything think, looked, the cinematography was uh, like. Incredible. It was the spark. writing. They it put, was where they took it. Yeah, I think it was just most of the writing. It, yeah, that's it all was, it was. It had nothing to do with like the detail. Nothing to do with the production or, yeah. Right. Nothing to do with that because they did an amazing job. Pouring out for Mormon. <laughs> Pull one out from my girl. Oh man! <laughs> yeah. She did. She did work. She did. Oh no! Yeah, she did work. She like, took that giant down right at the yeah. end. My, ah. my, my, I started crying when I saw her open up her new eyes. Ball. I'm like, no! Yeah. They didn't I know. Yeah, she, she held had it a down. good death. Of All of them held it down. I think they she had the best death. Loyal season. people. Yeah, no, yeah. Hers, had, like, hers was definitely death. awesome. It was really good. Yeah, and Jorah too. Yeah, Jorah, cool. yeah, he, protecting, uh, protecting Daenerys. He could rest, he could rest. Yeah. Yo, when Daenerys picked up that sword, I was like, what is this girl about to do? Oh, That's right, but I ain't got no training. <laughs> <laughs> she just somehow defended I was like, just sit there. 100, <laughs> 100 of, them, of the walkers or whatever, the whites. <laughs> Get away. I will protect you. <laughs> what would be really terrible is it supposed to be dragons, but, you know, it's whatever. <laughs> my, yeah, exactly. My main source of attack is just dragons. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You see, he flew away when them little roaches were crawling on his ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> support character without her support. <laughs> yeah, support character without support. Oh, um, another thing, too. Uh huh, good. What was pretty fire, uh huh, well, no, no, no pun intended, was when Dra- Dragon he burned the Iron Throne. I was like, oh, oh what? he built it the, the, Iron 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 the Iron Throne. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Here, here's my question why the fuck did he burn the Iron Throne? Okay. So, yeah, so have you ever seen? So have you ever seen Lord of the Rings? No. <laughs> Gosh damn it! Oh, they're doing Go the ahead. thing from Lord of the Rings. So or... Game of Thrones is actually based off of Lord of the Rings. Yeah, that's... So you know in Lord of the Rings, how in the end? No, I don't. They, Let me, let talk me tell to you. you. Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings is older than Game of Thrones. Um, they that's true. at the end the the ring is basically a symbol and like a, a carrier. Of no, the evil. ring. The ring is from Sauron, who's an evil spirit. It's evil. It's evil. It's evil. It's evil. At the end, yeah. they destroy the ring because it's, it's too powerful. It's a symbol of evil. Yeah. And it, well, it is evil. Um. So I like that they burned the Iron Throne because the Iron Throne is a symbol of power, and it's a symbol of of greed, and it's a symbol of. Um, that struggle for the power, See. so it made sense for the dragon to burn that and destroy it. But this is the thing: that, the reason why <laughs> I don't like that uh-huh. that you, you're saying that it's like uh, Lord of the Rings is because the ring has magic powers, and the throne doesn't have magic. It's I mean, symbolism, it does. but it has symbolism. It has political power. It has political power. It has political, it's political power. power. It's not I, like if I sit in that throne, in that I rule all seven realms. Exactly. Like, who doesn't want to be in that seat? So how the yeah. dragon knows to burn it down? Oh well, dragons, I don't, I don't know. well, that's the thing. Like you have, like dragons, I guess, have a certain level of intelligence. They're yeah. not that. They're not like a dog or, you know what I mean, like a pet rabbit or something. So like he understands. They have their own language. That's why she speaks to it in that language, and it understands like what are we doing and the commands and stuff. So he knew that that's what she wanted, and that's what she died for. So yeah. that's why he burned it down. Yeah, and took her away and flew off. So he had enough sense to know like this is this is what really killed her. So that's that's why he burned it down. 
They didn't yeah. kill Jon Snow. He just looked at him. He was just like, Why is all, all, all this for this? <laughs> or, or you can just call it bullshit. <laughs> that's it. You can call it bullshit and that's it. You can do that. Yeah, you can do that too. <laughs> but, you know, that's just to kind of have it make some sense to the people that were mad and they were like, oh, Why are you burning the throne? That don't make sense. He's a dragon. Like, no, it kind of makes sense. Like, yeah, no, I get it. Like, I understand why I he burned that. it. I also like um, another thing, the fact that Bran ended up being the ruler, I think, I, I kind of like it just because uh, the Starks kind of end up on top at the end. Because if you think about it, the Starks start off and everything sucks for them. Dad dies, <laughs> mm-hmm. brother dies, Mom. another brother dies, like they're just losing people. Mom, dead. Mom, yep. Mom dead. Pregnant lady. Everybody dies. Yeah, yeah. And then at the end, you know, they're all like in their own um, story. And they're kind of all separated from each other, and they all come together in the end. And at the end, really, the Starks come out winning. Yeah, and that's nice. And that's what I like about the first two episodes. Like, when you see that moment, that tender moment when yeah. Jon sees Arya, oh, yeah. so like uh, the first time in the like years, mm-hmm. he's like, "Do you still have needle?" What about the other people? They did. What about the other people in the land? Don't worry about them. It's all about Starks. It's all about Starks. Oh, I also wish that Arya would have used the faces more. That's kind of yeah. it. Well, yeah. how were they implemented? Like, in, whoa, one against the, Cersei? Well, yeah. One of the things episodes. that I had seen, which I thought was kind of cool, I just don't know how it would have like come to fruition, was mm-hmm. Arya killing Jaime for whatever reason, using his face to kill Cersei. Ooh. That would have been that would have been oh, that's what I, that's what I said. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jamie, you kicked me. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to, if you want to implement, if you wanted to implement the mask thing, then you'd be like, well, don't have six episodes, so <laughs> making the that's another thing. I think we should have had a full ten episode season. I don't know. They're supposed to make eight. They just or eight. Yeah, I mean, something more. Uh, let's see. Talk about how useless she was in the city and how much time she, how much screen time she took for no reason. Well, I th- oh, they explain the that they wait. You talking about <laughs> Cersei or Arya? Arya. 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 Well, the yeah, reason that... the reason they Flat they Arya. chose to follow Arya was because they wanted to show the destruction and the chaos that was happening on the ground in King's Landing. Uh... But they needed hold on, Kevin. They needed a character that you cared about to follow. I mean, I guess it's like the perspective of like this really strong character going through like, right. this disaster. Right, because if you would have been going through a disaster and you would have been looking at random people, it wouldn't have had the same effect That's than if you're true. following somebody yeah. that you've known for eight seasons. But you saw kids That's... dying without her in the background. Yeah, but you're still following yeah, somebody. Like, what would you be following? You'd just be like, okay, somebody burning over here, somebody burning over there, yeah, somebody it's, burning up there. It did make yeah. it strong like, because like like that scene where when Arya was like running through like the whole castle, she's like pushing people, she got trampled, uh-huh. people are helping her. That, that one thing was sort of messed up. It was. When, <laughs> you already know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Which, like, Which is like, honest. come on, guys, we can't stay here. We gotta go. We gotta oh. go. Shit, bring them out. Wow. Yeah. Fuck, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Should have left y'all where y'all were. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 I'm like, damn, bro. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. It's, like, it's, like, it's sort of like that struggle, too, because like, you can't really save everyone. So it's yeah. like, she tries to, but she can't. And it's, yeah. 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 Did you guys see that video of somebody put, somebody put Old Town Roads on top of the of the end when the horse comes to get yeah, Arya? Yeah, <laughs> 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 she can't maneuver. Yeah, because yeah, you drop off the... Did she even take the horse? Yeah, she rides yeah, she, she, gets it out. A, she rides out of the... Out of King's I think my yeah. favorite part of Arya's arc is when she decides to like look for the one piece. <laughs> <laughs> she became Become the next Chris pirate. Columbus. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna travel, travel the world. Yeah, she had to like faces, I guess. Yeah, enslave people, yeah. all of that, all, all that. that. So, yeah. I, I like that. That's so overall, season eight was yeah. season eight was meh, mm. meh. Six wasn't the worst. Wasn't and trust me, I've I've lived through several worst shows. True Blood being one. <laughs> Uh, lost. That's right. Two lost. heroes. Heroes. All yeah. terrible ending. So yeah. they were. It wasn't on that level of bad. So they. Yeah, they get a pass. It's 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 whatever. I it's understand. not wire or. or uh, no, Breaking it's not Bad. The wire. It's not break. Definitely not Breaking Bad. <laughs> a little I, underwhelming, but not terrible. I sort but of not terrible. Definitely. Hate, like I guess the ending sort of made me hate the guy. I mean, I understand his reason. I forgot his name. The the soldier whose girlfriend died. 
Greenworm? Greenworm. 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 Did you say Greenworm? <laughs> 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 I said Greenworm. <laughs> 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 Sunday. Huh? Yeah, I said Drama Sunday. Like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Like, it sort of made me. I mean, like, I know it's like. No people. His. Like, it's like he's. Uh, I don't know. Is that why they call him Sunday? Oh. Okay. <laughs> That you didn't like how his character turned out. I mean, no, it's fine. I understand, but it made me hate him because of how yeah. badly he wanted to kill John Connor. I guess that's how it's supposed to feel, or something. But I just, I don't know. I just, I sort of lost my respect for him after. I mean, Grant, like I said, Grant said this. The situation. It's just the whole thing, like everything, the whole journey he's been through. Like he's been the Baron's side because she freed them, mm-hmm. helped him out, took his girl, mm-hmm. a bunch of shit and everything. And it's like you killed my queen, the girl who saved me. It's like, all right, I'm gonna have to take care of you. Right. And I don't know. It just, it just didn't yeah, rub me right because I always felt like he still had like a heart of justice for some reason. Yeah. So seeing him being like, oh no, I wanna, I need to end this man life and take away my queen. It's like. But you knew she was a bit crazy, though, right? You gotta at least know that. I feel like he just had a blind loyalty towards her. Well, Probably. that's the Unsullied, though. The, the Unsullied. Yeah. yeah, she's like a blind Whoever loyalty. Whoever leads them, they follow them to the end. Yeah. Whatever she says, they, yes. no questions asked. Right. Exactly. Now, I still now we're farmers. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's it. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's it. We're done with it. Yeah, we're yeah, done. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Very just, underwhelming. Very underwhelming. <laughs> we'll just well, stop well, there. In the books. <laughs> Read the read the books. <laughs> well, like, well, I mean, he's still gonna write them, yeah. so maybe he'll. Yeah, he doesn't die for it. Maybe he'll change it up a little. <laughs> and then, but he's so busy working on the prequels. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> finish the books, dude. He's working on like working other on projects and like helping stuff. people out with other stuff. I'm like, can you finish your? He got a lot. He got a lot of other stuff. Going I mean, on. It, it it must be tough for him because it's like it's a big. He created a big world. Yeah, well, he should finish his big world before <laughs> doing something. Don't do that to the man. You're trying to make it, trying to make it like doing. George Lucas. <laughs> He's got to talk about his fun project with uh, From Software now. Oh, the game he the has game. that he's it's trying true. to do. He's working yeah, on a game. He has a game that he's like a Viking yeah. type story driven game. If this man George dies before his book is done, he better like inscribe the story on his coffin. <laughs> <laughs> or leave wow. some notes with somebody else so they can finish it like but, just give them all the pinpoints of the story and then you just figure out how to get there I'll tell that Tombstone B I would imagine it would reach like a skyscraper <laughs> level at least hey whatever he got to do what, whatever must be done he can put it on a jump drive and just <laughs> <laughs> attach it to his tombstone yeah make him a make him an obelisk like the, the Egyptians oh, yeah to pull it up <laughs> and there's a you big to tower it from top to bottom to get the, the full story that's right all right, so I'm done talking about Game of Thrones. Let's, let's talk about something great. Let's talk about something amazing mm-hmm. that we all, or most of us, we all enjoy, except for one. <laughs> and that was Godzilla. Oh, King of the Monsters. Damn, it's all, God damn it, laugh, it's all sticky everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> This boy, this Man, I told you to up. get the napkins. So I, I well, I guess we'll go around. We'll get everybody's little oh, like, two cents on our the... two cents. It's instant nut. What do you mean? It's a nut for What's, Kevin. What for you? It's a nut. Yeah. It's a nut. Marisabel, Satan. I don't think I can do instant nut. <laughs> 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 Dry air for her. (laughs) (laughs) Well, what did you did you like it? Did you enjoy it? Were the monsters cool to you? Well, I enjoyed it. I don't really follow the Godzilla um, origin story Uh, or anything. But um, is is the cool stuff cool? Is the blowing up stuff cool? It was a cool movie. Uh, With a lot of cool monsters, a lot of cool songs, cool music. There you go. Uh, Cool scenes, good plot, good story plot. I loved all of it. Okay. I liked it. Yeah, I mean, it works for Godzilla. Yeah, it, it works for yeah, Godzilla. Yeah. 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 We've yeah. seen way worse Godzilla movies. Like 2000s? Yeah. <laughs> it's a, the one we, we don't speak about first that. Ones American the American. It's a girl. It could, be, it could have been a better plot, but, you know, the monsters were the monsters. Right, because that's, right, that's the focal point of the yeah. film. Right. Well, for the, as far as plot goes, they did a good job with like building the world because with the first yeah. movie they they learned that monsters were exist they they right. existed 
And then here they're just pretty much like setting the foundation for yeah. like what could come, yeah. all and the possibilities, and like what we are to this world. And they and, and they did kind of retcon the first movie because when they had a uh, con, mm-hmm. they kind of set up and they made up Mardark because they didn't they did have Mardark in the original one, but mm-hmm. not really like you don't know what they were until con. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so they kind of retcon a little bit because in this one it's kind of it feels like. You know they've already been monitoring, like for these, years. These, yeah, these right. for years. years. Yeah, even the and so in, yeah, because in the in the, in the the first one they're like, oh shit, there's monsters. Right. Yeah. Like, well, we didn't know they exist. But in this one, they have facilities each each part of the globe. Right. Yeah. Go. So it it so, makes so this movie actually makes more sense with the Kong Skull Island movie. Yeah. Because yeah. on there they had the organization and they were following. Like monsters and trying to track what this seismic thing was happening, yeah. and so when they ran into Kong, that's when they really began the organization. From like that Vietnam era all the way up until present time, they've been developing stuff for it. Yeah. So yeah, it it, it works better with the Kong Skull Island movie, definitely. No old man Loki though. No. No, <laughs> no old man Loki. Bye. Alex, I'm a one pump chump. <laughs> one pump chump. <laughs> <laughs> You were in and out. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. He enjoyed it. Bro, that yeah. was amazing. I, every we were single slipping. time, <laughs> every uh, single time Mothra came out, I had like a tear in my eye of joy. <laughs> but then she got put silvered in the end. I'm like, that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real wife right there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She ride that. She looks Iron amazing. Like nah, her design. Yeah. Wow, like compared to the stuff that I've seen in the past, like wow, the monsters look pretty. No, the monsters. Why? They were amazing. great. Yeah, I mean, surprisingly, you... Mothra actually did look beautiful. No, Mothra yeah. was amazing. She looked gorgeous. gorgeous. What that you mean? mean? For yeah, a monster, if, like... if you weren't a Mothra fan before now, like after seeing that, you're like, yeah, no, nah, Mothra's yeah. definitely. Even in the trailer, it's like cool monsters. Like in the trailer, they show the wingspan. That's it. You're yeah, we see the wings come up. Yeah, yeah. so graceful. And then she goes to that little attack mode with the yeah. little <laughs> legs sticking up. Uh, chop, chop. Like, oh, chop, chop they gave her a stinger. That's cool. Yeah, they gave her a stinger. She never had that. Nah, she did. She just had the little, she, she little webbing web thing. Yeah. And like yeah. psychic powers. Yeah, the And little, healing. She could heal. Yeah, she could heal okay. when she flaps her wings. She has this dust that comes yeah. off and it heals. Yeah. yeah all, the, all the monsters got justice. Hell, All the monsters yes. definitely got justice. Even like, Rodan's Rodan. a hoe. Rodan, Ro- <laughs> Rodan is Star Scream, oh, son. Exactly. Rodan is what they should have <laughs> Oh, no, You should have called Star Scream. That's it. Just about Star Scream. Rodan was up in there. <laughs> Rodan was like, I'm free. And then when he saw it. But you know what's great about, <laughs> about Rodan was was like his facial expressions, the eyes. Every yes. people pay attention to the way the eyes would look when something was going on. I thought that was pretty funny. And I like she, he always had that smile on his face. <laughs> that was awesome. How'd you like it, Alexis? Um, <laughs> I know it's not your cup of tea. It's but. not. It's not. No, it's not something I would normally enjoy. But I think the 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 reason was just because I have a hard time paying attention, and, or like my my mind just kind of dozes mm-hmm. when I can't follow the story. So okay. if there's not a lot of like substance in the story for me i oh, lose gotcha. interest okay but aside from me losing interest in the story the monsters were really cool and uh the fights looked really cool so that part was awesome mm-hmm. um but i just i got sidetracked sometimes like i would just I, I would realize i'm looking at it and then five minutes would pass and they're like somewhere else and it's a different monster i'm like wow what the hell that happened <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. i just had a hard time paying attention but you know even watching it it was it was a little jumpy skippy because like yeah. like one moment they're in like antarctica yeah then they're in washington dc and then they're in mexico <laughs> and you're like yeah, dude, how do you get these places all fast and shit yeah. <laughs> it's like no time jump it's daytime everywhere they go <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they did this all in one day, except for an article. That was it. <laughs> and it's implied that yeah, they did it one day. Yeah, it's, I don't know, but, but it is what it is. It, like like we were saying, when you're going in there, don't like expect much from the story no. or the characters. Right, and you guys Watch told it me that pure for the monster. You guys told me that going in, but pure I just monster. couldn't. Just like Pacific Rim, like just watch it, just, right, just to see giant robots fighting monsters. 
and how the mother was like a Thanos 2.0 or something. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. The balance. That's exactly the whole thing. Well, was and and Tyler was like, what is this? Perfectly. As soon as he came out, I was like, look, I went Lannister. Look, here's what really happened. Mm-hmm. Endgame came out in their universe, so she was like, "Oh, that Thanos guy, she's he's really cool. I gotta take some books." Exactly. Like, oh, he's man. onto something. <laughs> he's he was onto something. We got giant monsters living here. It's not so far off. <laughs> it's not really that so far off. Yeah, right. Aliens, the gauntlet. The gauntlet. Why not? Why not? Yeah. 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 all those like iconic scenes of Ghidorah yes. coming out of the ice Woo. for the first time slowly Woo. with the and tail star, shaking and then star screen and the, coming out of the volcano and, yep all that and uh, Godzilla coming out and they're playing his theme song for the first time and, I mean it was it was just great it was super iconic I loved every bit of it I mean even the, the human characters like their story it wasn't that bad like with the first one like mm-hmm. there who was that military guy what do you want to call him um Bad guy number one. No, not bad guy number one, but foot oh. soldier. Uh, From the first movie? Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, him. Kick ass. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> the, kid, the guy from Kick Ass, yeah. Yeah, that guy, he, we were just following him and his persona. It was like, like, who the fuck cares about him? It was Godzilla. Yeah, exactly. And here, that was like, the problem with the first one. And here it's like, we got the little family. Even though it wasn't that strong, because mm-hmm. um, the mom's dumb. Yeah, yeah. She's, pretty she's, much. She's the daughter was amazing. She was, she was cool. She's dope. I mean, cool. she was 11 after all. So. <laughs> yeah, I gotta give her a prop. So, and the dad, the dad, like, I don't understand, like, because, like, what's his name? Um, the, the one of the soldiers, like, during that end scene when they were, like, driving mm-hmm. um, to, like, look for um daughter. 
Yeah. It was like, oh, if I was a kid, I would never want to have parents like you. Oh, I see like, son. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, Disney moment? Yeah. What do you say? Oh, what happened? Oh, what happened? Home! Oh. <laughs> and, and I'm just home like, home. but the dad didn't do anything. It was the mom that was stupid. Yeah. And, like, we don't even know, like, much about the dad's history. I guess because he got drunk or something? I don't know. Something about him getting drunk. Yeah, they implied that like, he was, like, that. Bit, like yeah, yeah, but, like, it wasn't. Drink. Yeah, but he was just sagging. It was like he wasn't doing anything wrong or anything. So, like, it's like, like yeah, the dad well, seems, like, more in the favor of the little girl than the mom does. Yeah. Because yeah. the mom was going more off emotion and the dad was trying to be more logical about it. Yeah. yeah. So that's, I'm pretty sure that's why they separated after their son died from the first film because he died because of the whole incident with Godzilla. So that's what broke him apart and then he went to go do his thing. He was, I guess, became a national wildlife photographer and she kept working on the projects oh, that they the were doing. Oh, the Lion King, though. What happened? The <laughs> Lion King? Well, obviously. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> he got pictures. That's similar. Right there you go. <laughs> uh, he was busy listening to the ASMRs for the wolves. Eating that, that carcass. <laughs> eating that carcass. <laughs> so we're going to turn on guns, we're going to eat some carcass. <laughs> we're going to do it. Crunch it all out in the microphone. Bro, he almost blew a nut when he heard it. <laughs> <laughs> Eating that bone. <laughs> Yo, just keep eating that bone, baby. Keep eating that bone. Oh. <laughs> what? It's our best material yet. Yeah, that's the yet. Best material. That was the dad. So, uh, I'm gonna the whole Look, man. you, you, y'all expected this when we were in the chat. Instant nut movie. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what kind of jokes we're gonna make. <laughs> 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 yeah, All right. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> oh, goodness. But it's safe to say we were definitely satisfied. I was satisfied. The music was amazing. Oh, the bro. score was awesome. Yeah. The score of the music was just spot Very on. Very dramatic. Super dramatic. Oh, especially when, at the end, when Godzilla was fighting Ghidorah, mm. and it was playing like that. It's <laughs> like <laughs> and so he ran Ghidorah through the building, like just rushed him. I was like, oh, my God. Yes. Yeah, because Mothra was just Spider Man him to the. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and he was trying to pull it off the other heads, and he looked and saw Godzilla full speed just charges at him. Swing it back. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> One thing I love in the movie how much more character like the monsters have. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, all the monsters have. Like, they all react to you know, Like, the Ghidorah turning his head on um, fucking, you know, Godzilla. Like, you know, he's staring at the camera or he's staring at like Rodan, you know, he has this scared look at the end, looking at God, just like, oh shit, fuck Yeah, he's like, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Yeah, I'll tell you, that eye, those, those yeah, eyes, the yeah. eyes say it all in the monsters. Or, uh, yeah. It was or so much character. Or when like, charged up, Godzilla, like, he was like, what is happening? I don't think <laughs> oh, yeah, when he was biting into that little electrical outlet thing. <laughs> or the, the, the burp in the end. Oh, yeah, when after he ate Ghidorah and he had the little electricity burn. Yeah, those small out. things are just so nice. I love it. Yeah, all those little Even when Mother, like, climbed over, like, yeah. um, uh, Godzilla, Godzilla. Oh. it kind of looked like he, she was trying to protect him. And yeah, that, that's what that I like, too. Him. Yeah, she had the little wings and up. I also like that when she was, like, on, like, after she, like, you know, just, <laughs> like, rolled down and then shake the, the his chest. Yeah. 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 And then after he fell, she was, like, she had that, that, that really tired look. So she was, like, she was barely standing. She was, like, like yeah. soft and she was like still ready to fight yeah because that's, that's the thing because like Mothra's not really the battle type yeah. monster yeah. she's there mm-hmm. to like heal and take care and watch and over and keep the harmony and the peace so like her fighting was a lot it yeah. took a lot out of her but she did work nah she yeah. definitely did work Mothra held it down like when, right, when she was like coming through to, um, to um, um, Ghidorah and then like, you see her coming through you're like oh she's about to get it and then you roll down come up from the side and it's like it's they like, start fighting whap. Like, yeah just say sw- side swipe her I like that part when they were fight at the end when they were fighting, mm-hmm. and like uh, Ghidorah was uh, <laughs> was beating up <laughs> uh-huh. was beating up a uh, Godzilla, right? Uh-huh. What happened? <laughs> Hello, here we go, bro. All right. <laughs> Shamu right here. So. You're in the splash zone right now. I got no poncho. Oh lord. So when they were fighting. I like at one point I was like, man, it would be funny we just narrate this whole fight because it's like they're basically fighting and they're not talking, but they look like they're talking to each other. Right. Oh yeah, as they're running in and hitting each other. And, uh, you know, it's cool too with how uh, Ghidorah, like early in the movie when the uh, the heads were like doing their own separate thing, and then the middle head would like 
like, get them back on track. Like, what are you doing? Pay attention. <laughs> and he grabbed the other head and like snap out of it. Yeah, like, yeah, I like that. Focus. Too. We gotta go after this plane. Like when Alex talking about like giving the monster personality, that's the person that came up to my head. Yeah. And then, like the third one, like on the, the left, was like, oh, what's going on over here? Like, hey, focus, man, over here. God, was like, come up over here. Like, <laughs> right. <"Come on." laughs> yeah, he would snap at them to like get them to look at what's just going in front of them. That part was cool. Reminds me of Zack and Weasley. By, by, by the way, <laughs> by the way, they upgraded uh, Ghidorah's powers. He got generation, regeneration. Oh, damn. Uh, yeah, yeah, he that never, was cool. He never yeah, had that. No, nah, that was cool. Though, giving that extra element, and in fact, and like we were saying earlier, that they kept him an alien. That was cool. Yeah. Too. yeah. I didn't think they were going to do that, but that definitely opens the door to possibilities for other monsters. <laughs> the space guns are <coughs> destroy, in, yeah. destroy uh, space Godzilla, any of the other aliens. God do keep. No, we don't need guys. <laughs> More like God's dookie, bro. <laughs> well, we need those Jet Jaguar. That was terrible. Jet Jaguar. Jet Jaguar. <laughs> 2020 Congress is Zilla. Yeah, yeah. Bro. I'm ready. I'm ready. Give it to us, Legendary. Give it to us. 2020. Monkey versus Zilla. Monkey versus Zilla. That's right. Can't wait. Well, I know in the original movies, Kong wins. He beats Godzilla. And Out of respect, since it's the first monster. Yeah, and he just like, walks off, and then the other one because they, they, they had they had Godzilla versus King Kong and King Kong versus Godzilla they had to switch the time and then like they then he loses and yeah because then, then, then they fight on Monster Island yeah. the second time but yeah but we'll we'll see uh, overall it's just gonna be amazing man I mean, can we talk about um, Star Screen Guy of course no Godzilla <laughs> when he was when he was fucking uh, in his in his um. What was it called again? Oh, like his, like his, his little domain, like his little temple. Under the no, seat. when he was like his whole body was like fucking. Oh, he's going like, like oh, nuclear, like, nuclear, yeah, nuclear, nuclear, atomic, nuclear, 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 nuclear oh. Godzilla. Yeah, like, that part was I awesome. honestly did not dope. think they were gonna hit that. Let's just, can we just talk about the part where Gondor was trying to kill him, but the Godzilla was like, "Was this supposed to hurt me?" Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, that was when he was in that. <laughs> he was like nuclear. over, and he was like buffed up, and then he was like, "Oh man, that fuck him up." He was electric. He was like. Dude, my oh boy, <laughs> shockwave, attack him, shockwave. Every time, let me tell you what I love about Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> like every time when, even it's with the, mon- the monsters, like with Ghidorah, uh-huh. like every time when you're about to see that attack, it charges up, and you yes. see like the lightning comes with their head, like the yellow spark. They <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, right, there it is. So when God, like, Godzilla, like he has his tail, so like they were, like in the when they were in Antarctica, yeah. like his tail was down. You see the blue, and I was like, oh, yeah. oh, it's like going up, and like, oh, <laughs> 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 oh, watch out, everybody, and it was just great. So like when he went nuclear mode, and like you don't even see the charge of all you see is like his chest starts growing up, and you hear grr, 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 like you about to get it now, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even like the normal one either. It was like it was like a beam. Almost, mm-hmm. sort of, almost like a weaker version of Shin Godzilla's beam. So it's like, mm-hmm. so it's not like a blast. It's like a, it's yeah. like you just fucking pierce this shit. I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the sound, everything, all the sounds That's for the monster attack is just sounds were like on point. That's what really gets you the sounds. The like, Mamma Mia. One thing I didn't catch at first was a little bit after he was in like his thermal nuclear mode. Uh-huh. It's like when when Ghidorah is like wrapping him, you know, he's kind of like got beams wrapping up. You know, you see that like his body starts like going red in certain places. I'm like, what is he like being electrocuted? No, that's like the, the the whole nuclear thing going on in his yeah. body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, small detail I didn't notice at first until after it happened. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, it was slowly starting to build up, build up. And even Ghidorah was like trying to drain yeah. the energy. It's crazy him. that he didn't blow right up because that's pretty much his last resort. Like type of power is that he becomes like a nuclear bomb. And he yeah, and he self destructs. That's what I thought was gonna happen when he like picked him up and dropped him down. But it was more like a bomb and just activate from there and just like discharge oh. him. Oh yeah, I got you. Yeah, yeah, and just blow everything out. Yeah, but I mean it was a lot better they did it that way. Just had him. Yeah, just have, have a have a uh, uh, what's it called a dark phoenix moment. <laughs> <laughs> Releasing his powers. Oh my god! No, but it was so cool. Like even at, like after it happened, like you know, he, it happened at first. That movie, your door's wings are gone. It's like, oh shit, that, that's it. I gotta end this now. <laughs> but nope, it's not enough. Mm-mm. <laughs> Wait, what did you want to say, Jacob? Yeah, yeah, how about can we talk about the dad for a minute? How he tried to be the MVP. How he tried to charge in and try to save his daughter from those people. Mm-hmm. And this man keep whispering every single time, like, bruh, speak up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was like, it was like, so does this not only, like, 
cocks and whiskers. Where is everybody? Where is everybody? Madison, get over here. <laughs> and uh, another thing, uh-huh. the mom heard that was not satisfying to me. I wanted the door to crib walk on her. <laughs> <laughs> At least, yo, 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 we need more than that. I honestly, I wanted her to go to jail. I wanted her to like get on the plane, uh-huh. survive, and see her ass get sent to jail for like Lock for putting the yeah. fucking world to be putting everybody in danger. I mean, to be honest, I would have been better off with this. What they did was Jurassic World, where the nanny, the nanny got killed off by the mosasaurus. Oh, that with the king of the world. Yeah. Oh, get dropped and swallowed. Yeah, that wouldn't be satisfying enough. No. To me, I, I want her to like. Own up to her. Mistake. I mean, unless you want to do the electrocute, then because it was like an easy way out. If you think yeah, about it was it. pretty yeah. easy. Yeah. You're like, should I go to jail or should I die? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did release him. I, mean, I still love you, honey. I still love you, but I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go and kill myself. <laughs> so that was that was something on Saturday. I was like, All right, the army's gonna take it and that bitch you know, strap you to the helicopter blade. Hopefully, you don't die. <laughs> 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 strap you to the helicopter blade. You live, we're, we're charging you forever. <laughs> <laughs> you live, love him. I like that idea way better. Strap him to the helicopter. And the fact that she took that device and she thought she could get away from the door. I was like, man, get out of here, bro. It, it, to me, it seemed like Godzilla and Ghidorah, they were like human kids. And the play field was a living room. And she was like a plastic toy truck <laughs> <laughs> trying to get away. To and they drive. just kicked her out of the way, man. It's like, come on, bro. <laughs> come on. You gonna go? <laughs> See how huge as the damn thing is? Like, you're not going to get far. Wow. <laughs> Blasted her ass as soon as she drove off. <laughs> I want to say one more thing. Uh-huh. What's, like, surprisingly, like, something scared me in this movie. <laughs> oh, was it underwater? Scene? <laughs> it was underwater. Yeah. Oh, the statue? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Like when um, Godzilla was like coming on to them on the water, when they were like underwater for the oh, first time. Yeah. And then like they open the hatch and they're like wide and they just open it and they look and you see Godzilla. Ha! Oh! When you see Godzilla <laughs> underwater, he's just like that was flashing his lights. Uh-huh. And he was like, all right, lower your guns or whatever, all that stuff. And then mm-hmm. he just leaves. You're like, all right, he's gone. And he's like, <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's going to shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> That's another thing. That first, that scene first happened, he's shaking his legs. Uh-huh. I'm like, what? Oh, because you see Godzilla coming. And <laughs> yeah, oh, like, 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 when yeah, I see yeah, any yeah, monster, swimming. I just, I just, this just gets me excited. <laughs> I just get happy. I was in Slender. little boy. <laughs> <laughs> I still am. Right you weren't the only one who got scared, though. I saw, like, when that scene happened, a, like, a people in, like, some someone in the front row, he leaped out, he's like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Like, what? Yeah, there were definitely people that were jumping with, oh, 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 Bobby. I definitely like, what is this? <laughs> you know, that's what's cool too is when um, the, uh, the the daughter, what was her name again? Madison. Uh, Madison. Madison. Yeah. When she was yes. messing with the uh, the orca, yeah. whatever the thing was called, and you see Ghidorah like looking for her, and he peeps in the window and you see that big ass eye just kind of like zooming in to look at her. You. He was like, all right, he packed up. <laughs> he just started blowing all the walls out. That part was dope. Like, I see the bitch. some great plot armor not to get hit by them. <laughs> I know, right? right. right. I was like, how is this girl not dead or suffer from, like, some sort of internal injury? Because right? she's her, flying all over the place her, and blasting yeah. against the wall. Our cheesy moment in the movie is when she turned to the camera and smiled. Like, Oh, no, I hate that. Right. That was real bad. <laughs> also, I want to know what kind of whatever industrial bathtub she got. <laughs> I know, right? Because that what whole she, house came down and she was in there. What kind of milk she drink? Her arms sticking out with big ass. <laughs> let, let me tell you something. She watched Indiana Jones, the, the Crystal, or whatever, and then she saw. You mean Crystal Bus? The, yeah, she saw, she saw yeah. Indiana Jones go to the refrigerator and survive a nuclear blast and say, oh, I could do that with this tub. Yep, just rode it out. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> Bullshit. Plot, hey, Plot Armor was, was, that plot was real. strong, though. That Plot was strong for her. That tub? Like, seriously? Come on. Yeah, yeah. it seemed like the type of Pikachu. It's him. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> well, we're not here for the people, we're here for the monsters. That's yeah, right. We're here right. for the monsters. And we and monsters get, we did get. 
We did. Get now, did you like the uh, the designs of the new ones that they showed? Yes. The Mastodon. Oh, oh, that spider one. Oh, the spider yeah. one. The spider so crab good. looking one. Like okay, so one of my I guess the only thing that I'm not happy about, but I understand why, because you know it's, it's a movie, huge budget, mm-hmm. all that stuff, is that at at this point we we really can't get a Godzilla versus this monster and Godzilla versus that monster. So right. like Godzilla versus Rodan, Godzilla versus um, those other new monsters that came out, we won't be interested in fight right, yeah. or anything. So and that's sort of sad, but you know they got other space monsters, they got the mecha monsters, so. yeah. We'll probably have, like, a few more moves before they just end it all off. Right. Well, I mean, because what they were trying to hint at to try to save time was that, like, they're, I mean, they're all the titans and monsters, but then there's, like, alphas. So, yeah. like, Godzilla's an alpha. Apex Predator is what they call them. <clears throat> right. So, yeah. and Ghidorah would be considered alpha, alpha, and then well. Kong is an alpha. Alpha, yeah, alpha. That's why he ain't, that's why he ain't coming to. <laughs> that, that's why he didn't show up to the like, thing. You want him to come up now, bro. Didn't, it didn't I got my own him. kingdom. Right. Yeah. The, the, the orca sound thing didn't really affect him. Cause he's another alpha, so he was just kind of chilling, like, just oh, chilling at school. Yeah, like what's all this shaking going on? I'm trying to see yeah, he's just right. on his island picking bananas. Yeah, he's chilling. He got he's his like, little people that worship him, so you know, he got his own thing going on. He's doing the bucket car rap. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's over there in his throne, like man, I'm let, I'm let that Godzilla handle that. Yeah. Right, exactly. I'm chilling. Just don't come to school island. Yo. Good. <laughs> I'm like, Space Godzilla comes out. <laughs> oh, everybody done. That's space guys will come out. OP. <laughs> Dumb OP. Ah, but yeah. And the after credits. Right? Mm-hmm. Oh, that, that one was just set up Mecha God. I mean, Mecha. Um, the... Mecha Ghidorah, yeah. Because you could tell, like, he was planning to build something. Yeah. Be a robot. And then know? now they got the DNA, now they got Ghidorah's head. Oh. So. Actually, you know, I, I figured you like this scene a lot. Of, like when they were fighting off the coast of Mexico, mm-hmm. how like Godzilla's like death rolling Ghidorah oh. in the water. Oh yeah, like yeah. crocodile. Oh, that shit was awesome. He just jumps up. He came out of nowhere. Just <laughs> got him. They were rolling in the water. He was just spinning roll. with him and ripped one of the heads off. And, and that's another thing awesome. I really liked about that movie. Like it was, <laughs> it was um, it didn't. You know, I mean, yeah, it went places like back like like really fast, but like it actually kept like the pressure of the monsters going. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So like, even though you see a lot of the human scenes, you still get a lot of the monsters like not too far off. So it's not like oh, oh, we see all these humans for like thirty minutes, then we see Godzilla's toe for like two seconds, and we go on to the human. <laughs> <laughs> we go on to the- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My life is terrible. We don't want you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So overall, it's an amazing instant nut. Wow. <laughs> Splash Mountain in this bitch. Splash Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for left, maybe. Oh, Definitely man. Six Flags, baby. Yeah, that oh, was great. Man. They really enjoyed it. I feel sorry for the guy that was in front of you, then. <laughs> there wasn't anyone in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried because I thought he was going to kick the person in front of him, but he was shaking oh, his leg. I probably, I probably, probably would have. I'll say he probably did kick him, but they just didn't say nothing. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? What, what I think Kevin mentioned is, like, during one of the scores, you know, when they're fighting, um, mm-hmm. fuck, how'd it go? The one where they kept chanting over it, so it kind of, like, over Oh, so, like, so like you know, in the original theme of Godzilla, they have the little, the, they go, dun, 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 dun. Yeah. and uh, I was like, man, that's that's great, but when it then it had the chanting on top of it, it's like, oh, yeah. it kind of, to me, it's like, oh, they kind of took away from that little classic interlude. Uh, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm-hmm. You should have bumped that up. Yeah, they should have bumped that up. Then had the chanting. Yeah, the chanting. Yeah, the chanting was still hype, though. Yeah, no, yeah the chanting was still, still hype. We can run through the um, rash. Such a good movie. I'm ready to see it again. Oh, I'm ready to see it. <laughs> We're going to see it again on D-Box. Yeah. Have it shake. <laughs> yeah, you guys got to see the IMAX. Because that screen and that surround sound in the IMAX theater, oh, insane, dude. And you, really? you just feel, like, so small when the screen, because the screen's huge in the IMAX. Yeah, no, you definitely feel it. Watching God do a movie in there. We could have walked in the IMAX theater. It was like 30 minutes behind us. We were bound to the, the good final part. Yeah, there you go. He just <laughs> popped in right at the end. Like, ah. <laughs> I went to the part where King Ghidorah gets in the part when I go. And yeah, that's it. It just blows up. That's all you need to see. So I, I felt the budget drop when that scene happened. Which one? When, like, when he bit the power line, his wings all lining came out. All that lay on the there's feel the budget. <laughs> <laughs> you feel the money going. <laughs> 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 now we gotta wrap it up. <laughs> yeah, no, all right, we gotta hurry up and do this movie now. That was the money shot right there. <laughs> Straight from the Toho posters themselves. There you go. Take it. 
take it in. <laughs> it's like fan fiction. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> Eat it up. And the little twins, they threw in the twins. They threw in the twins. That was they another little Easter egg. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. So that was, that was cool. I like that they added that on there. They added a lot of nods to like the old, like the other movies. The old, yeah, they did. Yeah. Yep. If you catch, you catch a lot they, of it. At some points, I thought they, uh, they kind of connect to each other a little bit. Mm-hmm. Even though, like, they supposedly they, they haven't seen a real monster set to con. Mm-hmm. So, I, I enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. Good. We're, we're dead. Trying, trying to think of anything else. Nah, I think that's it. Nice. I think, I think we, 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 <laughs> we've blown our, our load. <laughs> <laughs> now we can go nap, eat a sandwich, go lay down. <laughs> <laughs> Get a cigarette. <laughs> Get a cigarette. <laughs> if you're in the 40s. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely enjoyed it. Any last words before we close it out, Liam? Anything you want to add? Yeah, you used we'll to clean up stuff afterwards. You know, take a long shower. Show, right? <laughs> Right, that because you know all those stains on your pants. Yeah. <laughs> Laundry tomorrow, guys. <laughs> Just wash it now. Just wash it. Just rub his forehead because you couldn't believe what he just witnessed. That okay. greatness. I need to see what happens. I have to see what happens. Yeah, I'm telling you, you have to. It was uh, amazing. <sighs> we live in good times. Yeah, yes, we do. Yes, we do. <laughs> <sighs> hey, hey, Chris, where you go? Woo! <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the end of the episode. Yep, yeah, that's it. Smoky what we're going to talk about next week for the next oh, couple other weeks? Oh, I don't yeah. know. We got some video game stuff. Yeah, we got oh, video yeah. game stuff yeah, to update see. on. E3, no, Doom Eternal. <laughs> Doom Eternal, Death Stranding, Mortal Kombat. Pokemon. 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 Go to sleep. Do that right now. I'm going to do that right now. I'm looking forward to the sleep. <laughs> Isn't that what it's called? Go home, go sleep. Yeah. Something like that, right? It's Pokemon Go Home, Sleep, and Masters. Yes. And Ma- oh. Whoa, whoa, that's oh, that's that's I like that version. I like that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Regardless, they're all probably going to require your mom's credit cards. So. Yeah, they already know it. They, they, they might as well just call it Pokemon Take My Money. <laughs> <laughs> they're falling in that whole Disney thing now. It's just bleeding that shit dry. Right. I see where this is going. It's not a main Pokemon game. Mm-hmm. I'll show it to me because I can care less. Yeah. I don't play any of those. On the fucking the new one. Yeah. Right, yeah. When that comes out, then that's a game to look forward to. Right. So, till then, no incest. It's bad for you. Please. <laughs> you <got laughs> your <laughs> children. <laughs> your <laughs> grandchildren. Do what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy. Don't, don't, don't tell people. people what you do. It's, not, it's nobody's business. And we don't want to, like, alienate How is that supposed to be the better? Alabama fan base. We don't want to mm-hmm. alienate. <laughs> we lost them. We lost them. <laughs> hey, oh, we, sure. we should have ended it. I tried to end it. Y'all kept dragging it on. Oh, 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 here we go for Alabama now. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> the Spotify bad. numbers are now low. This is when the bad jokes come out. Goodbye. I'm a bad boy, though. Oh, God. Everything's, <laughs> everything's going to the garbage. <laughs> And thank you for listening to another Six Frame Podcast. If you like what you hear and you want to hear more, email us at Six Frame Podcast at gmail.com. That is Six Frame Podcast at gmail.com. You can also catch us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Six Frames. Don't forget to rate and follow us on our Apple Podcasts and Podbean. And our YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to Six Frames and ring that bell for notifications so you never miss another episode. So what are you waiting for, nerd? Subscribe, like, rate, do all that stuff. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.